Emergency medicine chose me, actually, as a specialty. I think coming through medical school, I recognized the fact that the specialty encompassed many, many things, most of which is a macro view of health. I have a public health background, and I recognize when I see things from a global perspective, it's easier to translate it down to the patient in a one-on-one -on -one encounter in the emergency department. So when people ask me that question, I simply say emergency medicine chose me, and I didn't choose it. Um, great question. I um, recognized early on that I, I really enjoyed two aspects of medicine, particularly, uh, well, actually, maybe three aspects of medicine. Uh, number one, I really love taking care of uh, acutely ill patients. That was number one thing that was driving my decision making. The second thing is actually I love to be the person to, to be in charge. And you can imagine being a, a third year medical student that it's actually difficult to be the person that's taking care of the acutely sick people and, and being in charge. And uh, so, But I realized that's something I wanted to, to learn how to do and to do it well. Uh, and the last thing is that I, I just like the variety of what emergency medicine actually has. I love all the different types of patients and the different types of scenarios. I, I love the variety also. Those are my three things. Well, I think in emergency medicine we get to see the most interesting part of everything. We get to see the beginning. Uh, we get to solve the problems to figure out what's wrong with the patient. And also we get to help people in very tangible ways. Uh, we help them with their medical problems, we help them with whatever the circumstances are that bring them into the emergency department. Uh, I get to take care of all kinds of people, young people, babies, older people, I get to take care of all kinds of problems, I get to do things with my hands, I get to do complicated medical decision making. So I really think emergency medicine gives you the best of everything, and best of all, on a fairly regular basis, we get to save lives, which is not something that all doctors get to do. It's clearly an issue on a national priority, frankly. I think when you look at the recent Sullivan reports, you look at the recent IOM report that speaks to underrepresented minorities in the field of medicine and the disparities of health care related to the lack of physicians of color, it's clear that emergency medicine should play a frontline response to ensuring that we have the manpower and woman power to respond to the needs of our patients in the upcoming future. Well, again, emergency medicine is a very diverse uh, specialty in terms of the types of patients and problems that we see. And the emergency departments of, of most institutions uh, represent that diversity. So it's important that the physicians that provide emergency care represent the patients that they provide care for. Well, minorities are underrepresented in emergency medicine, and I think because of the role of the emergency department in the healthcare system, it's especially important that we be well represented. Emergency departments are part of the safety net of the U.S. healthcare system, and in our communities, they, they often play a very, very important role. And I think it makes a huge difference if we are at the table when decisions are being made about how to organize care. And I think it means a lot to our people when they come into the emergency department and they see someone who looks like them as their doctor. I think it's very important for children, very reassuring to older people. And so I really would like to see minorities much better represented in emergency medicine. I also think because we're a relatively young specialty, there are lots of opportunities for leadership. And so I think someone who is motivated and talented has a lot more opportunities to move up in emergency medicine, whether it's clinically or academically, than in many other fields. So I think it's a good choice for talented young minorities. I would tell them to be passionate about it. It is something that you must love. It is something that you must engage in because our patients depend on us. It is not a specialty in which you should approach it lightly. It's not a specialty in which one can consider it as maybe I should do it, maybe I shouldn't. So you have to find it within yourself to go for it and go for it well and with passion. I would absolutely tell the student to explore their interests uh, as, as much as they can by speaking to people that practice emergency medicine, by spending time in emergency departments, uh, because emergency medicine is a relatively new specialty. It's, it's filled with opportunity, and, there, and there's a great need for minority physicians to be represented in emergency medicine. There's a great need. 
emergency medicine has become increasingly competitive, but the most important thing from the point of view of a residency director in emergency medicine is how you function in our environment. And so there are people who excel in academic pursuits at medical school who wouldn't last 10 minutes in the emergency department. So if you think this is an interest of yours, I would encourage you to try to get exposure to clinical emergency departments early on, shadow a faculty member, see what it's really like to try to care for people in a place that's always busy, where there are many distractions, where there are always many things going on at once. And we have to deal with fairly high levels of uncertainty and make decisions without being absolutely sure of exactly what the best thing to do is. It's not for everyone, but if you're the right type of person, emergency medicine is a fabulous career. I also think it's helpful if you can do some kind of research activity in emergency medicine to get exposed to the academic side. Of course, that makes you a much more competitive applicant in what's becoming an increasingly competitive process. But if you think you're cut out for emergency medicine, I think you should go for it. It's been a wonderful career for me. say not. Emergency medicine is so incredibly broad. Many students think that if I do emergency medicine, all I perhaps will see is blood and guts and the drama of the specialty. If you think about what that care looks like, whether it's an acute incident, whether it's delivering a baby, whether it's responding to the ills of drugs and alcohol, emergency medicine could play a substantial role in the care of our patients. And when you think about it from a research perspective, which is my area of interest, if you look at family violence, for example, or you youth violence, you can go out and use your expertise in the emergency department to speak with young children, young adolescents about violence and how that translates into the emergency department. And so it's not just about initial patient care, perhaps, but a little bit broader than that. And I think anyone who considers a specialty can think about the social mission that emergency medicine brings. Well, I think I was fortunate as a medical student to go to a school that had an emergency medicine residency, which was fairly uncommon at that time. And so I, at the medical school stage, understood that emergency medicine was a choice. And I had gone through all of my third year rotations, and I had liked uh, a lot of things. I had liked various aspects of each rotation. And early in my fourth year, I did an elective in the emergency department. And I knew within a couple of days that that was what I wanted to do. I got to do everything. I didn't have to give up any of the things I liked about surgery or orthopedics or medicine. I really got to combine all of them. And I was fortunate to have a faculty at the medical school in emergency medicine who encouraged me, who told me I could do it. I got a lot of resistance, too. I remember the dean of my medical school actually called me in uh, when he heard that I was thinking about doing emergency medicine, told me there was no future in it, it would never amount to anything. Uh, I'm not sure why he thought after knowing me for four years he could talk me out of anything I had made my mind up about. Uh, but I'm really glad that I didn't follow his advice, and I think now the school is quite proud of the success I've had in emergency medicine. So I guess it's really important for you to follow your bliss. I think you should seek out the advice of experienced people, try to understand what it's really going to be like to make one choice or another, but ultimately you are the only one who can decide. The last thing, and this is a, a, probably another thing, I really love my job. It is absolutely fun to come to work in emergency medicine. Um, the unpredictability um, for me translates into longevity, um, something different every day. So it's, a, it's something really to think about.